The current podcast is sponsored by New Life Barber Lounge. New Life is not another barbershop. This is a place where you will find great energy and a friend in the New Life crew. This is a place all about the experience. They will take care of you and have you looking spectacular. Don't waste your time at any other place. Go right now and follow them on Instagram at New Life Barbers and get yourself looking spectacular. Bienvenidos a la corriente. Hoy estamos hoy desde aquí desde el estudio empezando. Y nos va a hablar Byron, nos va a dar la introducción que hoy estamos en las olas de deportes. Muchas gracias, señor. Uh, welcome to the current podcast. Thank you for joining us in another episode of Sports Wave. I'm Byron. I have my co-producer Mauricio in the building. How you doing, brother? Doing really good, man. We're blessed. And then right on the other side, we can't forget the guys. We have our host Enzo in the building. How you doing, bro? What's up? What's up? What's up? And the up? one you heard over there was also uh, obviously mm, the, the one, one and only. only. Manny. Hey, how's it going, guys? Yeah, you got to talk a little Spanish, mix it up here in a bit. <laughs> right? It's going to sound... <laughs> exactly, bro. You got to sound like a a bad, um, how do you say, like dubbed version in Spanish of an English movie. <laughs> that's how they were. Like, that's how they talk in the Channel 34, uh, Channel 46, when like it was an English movie, and then they put like the, someone talking in Spanish over it. That's how they sound like to me. All right, anyways. I concur. Anyways, some shocking news. We thought that uh, Brittany Griner was going to get freed. Are you really shocked? Uh, it, it's shocking because apparently the U.S. government was trying to trade someone. So an arms dealer for Exactly. Her. So, like, we thought, oh, maybe she's going to get freed. And then but what ends up happening is... I don't think they're going to get... She's going to get... I think, she, I think the due process in any country is going to take process first before she actually get swapped for anybody because you think that that prisoner hasn't gone to due process here in the united states you think he hasn't been sentenced already oh uh, yeah he was already mean? sentenced what prisoner the person that they're trying to swap for like you know what i mean like she's gonna have to go through that process i'm not saying she's gonna have to do time so uh, hold up that depends on how much time they're gonna take according to maurice right now i'm not shocked you guys that this think, is that she got sentenced I, I mean just based off of you know the current events that we live in and the past events that we lived in, honestly, would it be fair for the government to step in in that fashion when we've incarcerated so many criminals under marijuana violations since like the 60s and 50s, 70s, 80s that are in jail still to this day for that? And then they're just going to go and get her. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. But there's, Maury's there's, there's point just, is the following is she's been sentenced. Uh, and he believes that the trade can still happen after the sentence has been yeah, done. I just think that that process is going to take place. It has to. That some that, that she's not going to serve those nine years. That's yeah, what like, more. I, I don't saying. think it was going to be like, for example, we're going to talk about Leandro later, but he got caught up with his theft in China. You know what I mean? Like, was it something that maybe Trump acted faster? I don't know. But at I the mean, same well, time, yeah, he did, bro. Literally, he he spoke on it. Trump yeah. spoke on this. Yeah, and Biden, we haven't really heard anything from Biden him. hasn't said a word. Kamala hasn't said we a word. Heard, we just saw that a letter came out of the White House. That's about you know it. what I'm saying? So it's like, that tells you where it's at. But, and But what do you think? It, it, I mean, in the foreign world, it's different, but... What do you mean? It's China. It's still a communist country. No, yeah. but what I'm trying to say is like... And... Th- let me, let me, what am I trying to say is theft and what... Brady remember China? Getting, in, the wor- in the words of the great Mauricio, uh, let him finish the point. Yeah, I mean, I mean, theft was Leangelo's case, and then the other case is Brittany Griner is what is it, oil pen? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Point so seven. Hashish. No, they I said think, it was point seven of some hashish. I think it's something. I think that's also uh, another factor, but it's also uh, like, nah, I'm, so that's, how, how quickly did the the, uh, the severity of it of it has a factor. But I'm also saying again, the backlash of a of a of a of a government that they, that they're gonna get when you. Let somebody off the hook like she did when she should have done. She should have known better. You know what I mean? You're going to Russia. Maybe she had. She was acting off her arrogance and all this. You know, it sucks that it happened, but bro. Nah, but it's the it's the timing, bro. I mean, she's been there before. It's not like she hasn't been there before. Yeah, but who's and, to say that she took it before? Well, we we don't know. Exactly. But then again, it's like if you and took she it, hasn't said nothing. If I, if you took it, don't you think she was feeling confident that she could well, get away she with it? Guilty. She pleaded guilty to get a lesser a lesser sentence. 
Don't you think that if she took the risk, she probably knew that she could get away with it? Are you going to, I mean... Then again, it's the oligarchs that are taking her there, right? That are paying her. Right, but that's what I'm saying. So don't you think that you would believe all the oligarchs have my back? But then the difference is that in this time that she the traveled there, are, there was there was a circumstance who, that she didn't who are the know. Was oligarchs gonna. more loyal to somebody they're paying or once, once once again she went in a time where circumstances were different prior to her going there. I mean, the friction has been going on with that in that region for since Obama was there. Me prior to that, so it's like she should have been known what's you know what time it is. You know what I mean? Because. 2016 was the last time the what the peninsula of uh when they were fighting for that other peninsula in that area where Crimea where they took Crimea over right that was recent bro it was four years ago five years ago and she was in the NBA WNBA at that time too but at the same time the media wasn't covering that as much bro and what at you the mean? same time they, yes they did it was covering the Crimea not, not the when way when that, that happened it was they were covering it during not uh, the, way they were the Japanese to cover. Uh, World Olympics not the way that they were covering Ukraine. What, Crimea is Ukraine. Yeah, yes, they did, bro. They did cover it. That's why they were making a big thing about it now again because they covered it last time and then now it's happening again. But that's 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 for the other podcast. This, we're talking about sports right here. She, yeah, I regardless, feel like, there's a there's a deeper issue going in in Ukraine, and I think that's just and it within that region within Russia. She should have known. And I think it's 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 valid it's like, that you know that you you be a little more cautious with your taking. Like so person. naive and, and like. It's also this thing about maybe she thought she was er- she this arrogance that oh I'm American, that that could, that could be another thing that goes into play why she thought she could take something like that. You but know then I mean? also it's like I said it's you the people are inviting you so it's like oh I'm gonna these oligarchs have my back you know. But I mean and I'm not her I me I, I wouldn't trust them because like I said knowing Russia they have their loyalty because they can be taken out of that position by Putin at any point. And it's, you know, so fuck that. I'm not gonna, but anywho. Quick question. Do you guys think that uh, Russia maybe um, in a, in a form in, you could say do they're doing like trying to redeem themselves of, of the U S helping out Russia. I mean, helping out Ukraine. What do you mean redeem themselves? Like, this put this punishment. I already know that like you can't take stuff like that in Russia, but like, do you think that this is a way they're trying to like, like, like they're, they're, trying, to, they're trying to trying to hold, get something yeah. on the U.S. Is what yeah, you're trying since, to say? yeah, basically, you know how we've been giving funding to Ukraine. Do you think they they're talking, like they, this is how they feel they got one on us? Yeah, in a sense. Hell no, it you, didn't cause as much backlash, unfortunately. I don't think that's that. I think. No, because if it was someone high, like, all right, like if it was a, a different uh, celebrity out of a bigger stature or, is she, is she a, or a different or athlete a, of athlete. a different stature, mm-hmm. if it was, like, that's what I'm saying. It all like if that context matters. It's like, do do the people of the U.S. really care about that athlete or do they really care about that celebrity? The The backlash would have been bigger. Well, I mean... For one, if we're going to take it there, we would have to put into account that it's, ethnicity has a part to play in that then because obviously we have a white government. It's not really black dominated. That's why they don't give two fucks to go get her. You know, if, we, if we're going to pull at those threads, but I don't think it's really that. I think it's like they, I mean, yeah. They she should have no, just known. Nah, that. they don't care, bro. I think, like I said, like Leangelo, bro, yeah. he called. And we were put, we were, called, no? we were, we were, not well yeah he called trump but trump called them to like yo but it was like it was uh we were placing tariffs on china during that time mm-hmm. right now we're put we're placing embargoes we're placing sanctions on 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 russia mm-hmm. well a, a lot of our businesses i think that's out. what byron was alluding to like is it payback for things like that and all the all the the, the basically the conflict at hand it's like i don't right, think well, so because that's guys. like nah mm-hmm. it's like bro if you really think about it how much how much does she get paid I'm a, that I'm silence means not enough. I feel like she gets paid more in Russia. Yes, than she definitely. gets paid in. The That's United why they States. go play over there, right? Yeah. So hence, to the United States, her tax bracket probably not enough for them to give two fucks. Yeah. Here, her contract. If, is you know if that makes years, sense. Six hundred k. Six hundred sixty four here here in the U S. That's what her W for two contract. years. Three years. I'll look up what what it is if she if in Russia. Like, I know she's making millions. I for sure like 
be just because that's what that's why it's worth her going out there. Mm -hmm. So they do it for. Yeah. Especially when you're like, she's like. That's why you rarely see. I mean, I so know, I know you do see it, but it's it's more rare for she's a male. She's probably making one million to go over there, bro. Yeah, so it's a one million contract. She's actually signed to play for you, MMC, eclipsing her three year deal that we just talked about. So, I don't know, man. I just feel it sucks because, you know, there's so many. Like I said. If the government in the United States does it, you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. Because some citizens might, you know, have backlash, give them backlash for be like, man, well, my grandpa's been locked up. My aunt's been locked up for X amount of years for uh, less than 0.7 of hashish or whatever, right? And Or non-offenders. Because some people that are non-offending, like they just had a little bit of weed and got caught up in Arkansas or uh, fucking... Wrong state lines. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But... But yeah, well, another another case we we had the uh, well, we speak before we speak about that. That's why be careful going to Texas. With, with this whole thing going on, just like we're talking about, you know, that what she took over there here in the United States. Uh, Aaron Rodgers just recently revealed that he was taking psychedelics, ayahuasca, uh, specifically during his back-to-back -back MVP uh, seasons. Um, so uh, that that's a big thing. A lot of people were like, you know, did he violate the drug policy and all those things? And no, I'm, because I don't think that that the Packers I don't think he was a hippie. On, I don't think that's on the No, the Packers uh, said he didn't, yeah. Uh sir, uh it wasn't labeled that until recently. What? Uh recently they're trying to label mushrooms and all that as um like a drug. Well, no, I'm talking about ayahuasca wasn't a no type of schedule, nothing on no fucking governments, anything. Yeah, was, but now they're like trying that. to schedule it. Now they're trying to like schedule it as if it is. Um, but back in the context of that time, nah, it was never labeled. Well, now I know they're trying to decriminalize mushrooms. I don't know about ayahuasca. That's it's like funny because he that's says that's a tree that, bark that you says that not, and it doesn't just grow anywhere. You know, he feels that like it, it helped him um, with his success, and it's just like damn, bro. But against the but he's the also, in the, he's, in the also he's also married to a, a self-proclaimed witch. Really? Yeah, have you ever heard about that? No. His mm -mm. girl saying that she's a witch and that that's why he, he, he that she's always like saying stuff. Is it her or is it or is that Tom Brady? Hold on. I don't know, bro. You already fucking said it. Like I don't know. Well, it's one of the it's one <laughs> you of claimed them. Bro. It, bro. It's one of them, bro. Tom Brady or Aaron Rodgers. But it's like that's some crazy shit. Like, you know what I mean? To to, to put that out there like <laughs> more you trying to Google right now. I saw it on Which team. wife of the NFL player is a witch? <laughs> I think it's Tom Brady's girl, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I stand corrected. <laughs> oh. no, 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 no. So right here, I just found one thing. Tom Brady's it's girl. It's like Aaron Rodgers' rumored girlfriend denies reports that she's a witch. That uh -oh. was this year in June. There okay, then that might have been a story I read. But I do know that um, that she also like um, Tom Brady's wife also has like her um, no, her superstitious shit. Her superstitious. What's that called? Psycho? No, um, pseudoscience things, things like that mm. too. So all those things, um, I, I've heard that. From well, the guy well, only which eats, only you, eats you avocado, kinda, right? Like he, yeah, avocado diet. Yeah, he has an avocado diet. I mean, it's he, smart, bro. It's healthy fats and stuff yeah. like that. So I can see why, but that's that's that guy. TV yeah. twelve method. Um, but staying in the in the NFL, we also have the, uh, the Hall of Fame game that happened this weekend. It hadn't been in Canton, Ohio, where it's uh, they have their own stadium for the Hall of Fame, and um, we had the. You want to take it away for that one? Oh, fuck, I fucking hate the Raiders. The Raiders versus the Jaguars. And the Raiders handled their business. They beat the Jaguars, and this that was basically week one. The Raiders. Of the, that was week one of the preseason, basically. And this what season, it starts off in the example. The Broncos got the Cowboys, I believe, on Saturday when we were over there in San Whoa. Diego. Um, so preseason starting, I think, what was it, three weeks of that? Double check that. Yeah, I believe it's three weeks. Four weeks actually, four weeks, and then didn't they shorten the preseason to extend the regular yeah, season? Yeah, so week one of the season will start with uh, Manny's LA Rams versus the Bills on September eighth. What? what? Um, it's your team, bro. Uh, it's the team the podcast gave me because I don't have an NFL team. Church want to make okay, that bro. You gonna just lower your tone like that, all right? <laughs> <laughs> yep. You know that's your team, bro. Nope. That's your team. I have no Rams gear in my house, bro. I don't have Rams gear anywhere. Bro, if you root for a team, you got gear of that team. Bet. All right, bet I'm going to get your sticker and put it on your car. <laughs> what you going to do then? Rip it off. Lies. It's going to drop the value of your car, bro. 
<laughs> well, uh, the Dodgers right now are 75 and 33. They're still sitting atop of the division, and Ejo even Dodgers. more so now because they have beat the Padres eight out of ten Ejo times Dodgers this season. No sirven ahorita, ¿sabes por qué? Porque la regaron. Man, fuck that. They got, uh, <laughs> the got Juan Soto, and we still fuera, fucking have to handle it. Agarrado a Mr. Soto. Y esto. It's cool. We don't need him. Buen entendido. Nah, we're going to get Otani, bro. We outscored them 24 runs this season. Ese, this, this, ese this, no lo van a agarrar, bro. They're going to get Otani, no, bro. Hombre, no, I don't need, we don't even need Otani either, bro. Otani can stay you with the Angels. You know what? Angels, we don't need it, Mauricio. Like get the, the fuck has. out. <laughs> oh, they're going to get Otani, bro. You tap into that Asian market, bro. Oof. Dodgers need him, bro. They should have got those. So but in, in um, some more sadder news, though, than this week for the Dodgers, we also lost... The voice uh, of the Dodgers. Yep. It's time for Dodger baseball. Vince Scully passed away at the age of 94. He has such uh, a monotone voice. It's a yeah. dull moment, bro. R.I.P. All right. Give it a, a, give it a moment of silence. It's a very dull moment. You know, you got mm-hmm. to honor the late, great Vince Scully, bro. Mm. Moment of silence. It's crazy though. Two so, guys you know what I'm saying? Week. It's crazy because uh, so and him in one week, bro. They were basically coming up that. in the same in the same area. That's how I say Illuminati. It comes in threes. Threes? I said it comes in threes. So where's the third one? The greaser chick just died today. What chick? The main chick from the greasers. In the grease, in the grease movie with John Travolta. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, El, El Newton John or something like that. Something. Olivia come, Newton John. Yeah, that yeah, comes in. Passed away today. In the celebrity world, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Let me not. Anyway. It's crazy. But we also had an entertaining Hot weekend take. of fights, hey. man. I think this is only like, I think they said it's the sixth time it's happened where. You know what, man? I got every finish. freaking dollar off my subscription this week. Facts. That's what happened this week, right? Facts. Every single dollar was earned. And it wasn't a pay per view. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. Every, what is it now? Nine bucks almost? I, I think I'm, I'm still just paying. The price I think I'm still paying $7.99. E, cause I got well, the te- I got the te- combo. Technically, I didn't have to pay for that because I had to pay for the yearly. Oh, I think so I did they can't. That. They they didn't charge me because I already had paid for the year. It yeah. it charged the people so, that are paying so month you think by month. You're better than me. I mean, I'm I'm sure you can afford so to do a whole year, me, sir, bro. if you wanted to. So you think you're better than me? No. So I'm think, just saying I saved the think, money. You think you're better than everybody that didn't save their money? That's the different. They, they, oh, so you think you're better than me then? Uh, okay. Your words, really, not mine. Really so he thinks he's better though, than that me. Stood out this one was uh, was West Style with Brian Battle, which was one of the Ultimate Fighter winners. The guy that thought he was season. better than him and then knocked him out in the game. Right? <laughs> Believe so. Um, but he, <laughs> he just had a really good kick. Yo, that's a crazy ass name to have. Battle. He, uh, did you, he posted something today where he got knocked out himself with that similar kick when he was fighting like I think light heavyweight. It happens. And then you know he was like he was like then and now he was like how's it how it was going then versus now so it was, it was pretty cool Brian Battle and I was really mentioning it to you guys we haven't seen the other guy that won on the Ultimate Fighter that season which is Ricky Turcios the Salvadorian mm. so, um, yeah, yeah he fought Filipino, like a couple weeks right? ago half Filipino half sorry right, he, 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 he not weeks ago like a couple months ago I remember you remember that was months but not weeks I don't, so. I don't, I don't remember him fighting but we'll look it up right now yeah he, but that's the, he's talking about when he fought after the Ultimate Fighter bro I don't think he's fought yet that's yes, the last yes, time he fought bro you saw it too we were at the house check right now bro that's the last time he fought bro is after the the Ultimate Fighter he fought for the UFC. I think it was a, uh, a pay per view, if I'm not mistaken. It was, it looks like. Yeah, I think it was for a pay per view. Last month, on the 9th, he lost. Oh, wow. By unanimous decision. In yeah. the prelims, right? Yeah, and he's fighting on in November. Uh, I didn't yeah, know he fought last he, month. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see know him. that either. I, I told I had, you guys. I, I was tripping. I, I, no, so I'm sure I wanted to confirm. And I think it was the fight where um Cort, uh, Cortez fought. Mm. Tracy Cortez, what's his name? What do you think is that card? Uh, I think no, so. I said it was a fight night right here. Last That's month. what I'm saying. Hers was a fight night. No, nah, she fought on a pay per view. No, she prelims. On, the pre- on a pay per view. Yeah. Wah, wah, wah. I have everything right now. Though. I have everything right here. Oh, uh, we're just trying to fix Yeah, bro. The UFC fighter got everything, bro. He, you mean you he, he got no wrong information, nice. apparently, bro. 
It was He's an insider, night, bro. He, didn't even know he got that Papa guy. Dana giving him the info, bro. It was a night to Fazeev. Exactly. So I'm not. You guys can stop claiming that. Fazeev. You said that, bro. You said I'm the UFC athlete. I didn't say God. Uh, hey, bro, I said fighter right now, bro. I didn't say So it was God, the same bro. night that, that Fiziev lost or beat RDA in the, in the it first round. It goes against round. everything many and you know, I believe in, bro. That's when he when he lost. Let me see. It was the preliminary Yeah, bro. You can't tell him anything about the UFC, bro. Or else he'll be like, no, 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 it's this. Yeah, he he's at beast mode, bro. It comes really out, bro. It's very chocolate. Hey, yeah, you know, another, you know, another UFC news. Uh, King Velasquez, I mean, Bas- yeah, Velasquez. Yeah. He uh, played what happened not, with the- not guilty on the charge well, of yeah, his charges. attempted how did, murder. How did, how did the case go? Attempted murder charge that they're trying to charge him with. He, play, he played not guilty. And um, it's really, it's crazy. I found out it's his son. Mm-hmm. I thought it was his daughter. His son that what? His son got molested. His son got molested? Yeah, that's why he tried to kill the guy. Mm-hmm. Damn. E. That, that one's pretty. Any logical played, parent, right? Not guilty too on that one too. That's what I said. Where are you? We? Yeah, uh, we. Damn. I think to the they're going to like. What is it called? Is it appeal process now that he has to go through after the sentencing and all that? Yeah. Oh. Is you appeal the the ruling? Right. So. Mm-hmm. Hope the best for Cain Velasquez, like you said, like any parent would do that. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, you gotta you gotta let certain things take like president because yeah. now look at the situation he's in you know, yeah because uh, he took there. matters into his own hands yeah, yeah. so uh, heat of the passion wait for that uh, but besides that like I said Brian or heat Mello of the moment that knockout both uh, heat of passion heat of moment hmm. we also that's saw what, that's what the defense defense is gonna be yeah what, what was it defense no no be. bro what were you saying <laughs> anywho for sure <laughs> um we're seeing the future heavyweight contender this weekend too. He he was the finale winner, one of them at least. And we're talking about uh, Usman's brother right here, Mohammed Usman. And he was in his corner. We're talking about Kamaru in his corner. And uh, at first, I felt like it was very like his stance and everything looks just like Kamaru's, but he's, uh, he's much bigger, shorter, uh, shorter but much bigger. But yeah, just shorter and bigger. He's wider. Um, but at the same time, it it, um, it felt like I don't know. Was, they were just very wild in that first first round, swinging for the fences. And then he, but then the, the it's funny because the, the shot that got the guy was just like uh, just a simple like cook. It was nothing like didn't even look like it was super powerful compared to other shots he was throwing. Um, but he just hit him in the right spot. So is stuff. the champ scared, bro? After what he said. I think he's just showing him respect because of his brother and whatnot, and, and I he think wants, he still has yeah, a lot. Is that fool's getting scared, bro? He, he just got his on. UFC contract. Is that fool like, oh, I can't beat this fool? I just saw this fool knock this fool out. Like, I don't, I don't think so. He just saw, he just saw someone win his UFC. He he said, I don't want none of that, bro. You can't put that out into the Twitter world, bro. I guess. What did yes. he say? Hold on, what? The champ was like, oh man, I don't want that heat. What champ? Francis said he don't want to fight. He, he said, I don't want no part of that. Pull up the tweet, bro. Pull up the tweet. I didn't see that. What? They're, that's, he's a heavyweight too, or that's hot light heavyweight? No, he's a heavyweight. Shit. Africa? Against Africa? Wakanda forever? Yeah. Yeah. So is the champ scared? What are the champs say, bro? What are the champs say, bro? I don't think he's scared, bro. He's scared, bro. Nah, he's scared, bro. Damn it, yeah, bro. Damn it, yeah, bro. New contender was born in the heavyweight division, and personally, I want no business with this man. With that emoji, congrats, brother. That's cap. Exactly, bro. That's just like he's just giving. Just showing him respect, bro. He just won no, his. No, not saying respect, bro. He's just giving him like flowers, bro. Props, bro. Like he just won your contract, bro. Like nah, bro. Not even that, he has bro. a long way to go in if this division. If you wanted to give him props like that, he would have said that, bro. He, like, that he just like yeah, whatever. I don't know if I he just said a new contender was born, bro. That's giving him props. You don't want bro. that heat, bro. Bring it away, bro. Hiding behind the laughter, bro. I think in a couple of years he might be fighting for that title, but there's a lot of there's a lot of people he has to fight first before. Isn't there like a that? Yeah. who else? You, hmm? He's a heavyweight, not a light heavyweight. Heavyweight, sir. He should do light heavyweight and then fight Yan yeah. and be Yan. I think so because I feel like he's slightly undersized for the for heavyweight. Yeah, yeah bro. But I don't think I think him and Greg Hardy would be a good fight. Greg that guy's not on the UFC, UFC, sir. Oh, he died. He, he just got the boot. That would have been ago. a good fight. That would have been, been, been a really good fight. fight. Yeah. Why? Because he kept losing? Yeah. Or just nah, they're just, just they a banging. Contract, yeah. Just, yeah. Contract? Or Tuli Vasa in that fool, bro. 
Not yet. Nah, Bam yeah, Bam takes him out, bro. Do not, fool. Not yet. Bam Bam. The pedigree he's from, fool. If this Bam, show, I've Bam seen Tulivasa get knocked out too. I've seen so him get knocked out too. Um, so I think out? That, uh, he got out. knocked out, huh? I think he got knocked out. If he can get, also I like the, that new term you just created. Just like Usman, bro. Like like his brother. Eight twenty nine on. He'd be straight, bro. He can he can compete in that division if he doesn't have to wrestle. Just on like August eighth, necked. Just got necked, bro. Got necked, bro. I forgot necked out. That yeah, was I like, don't know if that term works, but all right. Hey, bro. Brian, yeah, bro. When they that shit right works. There, yeah, bro. You got necked. Straight. Especially when you get kicked right there, bro. That's how Brian Battles fucking knockout was. Yeah, bro. you got necked. Mm, nah, Straight up hit him nah. right there, bro. You like giving neck, huh? Mm. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I said necked, not giving neck. Uh-uh, you know uh-uh. who else got necked? Yeah, hey, see, Luke, he, bro. Necked? Oh, that motherfucker got knocked. Yeah, bro. He was. That's he, a different. You thing. saw you, bro. <laughs> you got knocked. How many uppercuts did you count? He got knocked. Bro, he got like got, six or seven. Like at least, bro. He got knocked and then six rocked seven, out of his bro. socks. Yeah, he got He got knocked and then rocked out of his socks. It was crazy, bro. Yeah, bro. And, and, there's, and Luke was on a crazy streak before his last couple and fights. And it wasn't even... He was finishing motherfuckers, too, so he got finished for, for once. You know what I mean? You, it's just like any given Saturday in this, in this case. A- you know a- a- uh I think, main he, event, I think he's shaking it up. That's that's gatekeeper status. This motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any bro, any guy that loses becomes know, a gatekeeper, bro. bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> any guy that loses, <laughs> any guy that loses at that, like you know, it, that 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 was bad for Vicente Luque, bro. This is the third round. I mean, come on, c- come on, bro. That was kind of bad. Seven for uppercuts, Luque, bro. bro. bro he's never seven got, uppercuts. Bro. He's never guy, been finished like that, bro. No, I mean, it took the guy three rounds at the same time. And what did we talk about last week? And finished. Finished, right? What did we? Yeah, and what was the other and, word comparison? And, and what was the other word we were comparing it to? When Jeff Neal's fought too. What was, I, we, were, we were saying finished, and what was the other one? It was it next? Oh no no no! He's. He, <laughs> what was the difference? The ones. What was the difference? He knocked down it. So yeah. Finished. Finished and submitted. Yeah. Was it submitted? Yes. Because we were talking about how huh, finishes are are, are knockouts. knockouts or TKOs. And, I guess. Yeah, are t- knockouts or TKOs are finished, and then that getting submitted is not a finish. All right, question. And then that's where he. This is a question. He backpedaled, and he was on, like, "No, I'm right. Uh, I've been right this entire on, time." On the on the right that, on though. the official yeah. cards, on the official decision, Connor got finished. Do you think he got finished? Which one? In his last fight when he broke his leg. <laughs> I'm curious. Oh, you already know a, what Enzo's gonna say. It's official on that. TKO. I'm just wondering. <laughs> you or already know what Enzo's gonna say. That he doesn't even want to say it because yo, he, we've already I been over wanna, this. I just want to know. <laughs> Based off of the what, what we've agreed upon, you know what I mean. So why are you asking me? I just want to make so. So it is a finish. How? Exactly. Right. So, okay. So that's my. Well, it's not. It might, I don't. I don't I, we've, me and you have agreed on that. So yeah. I'm just no, saying. Hold like, up. What do you mean? What do you? We agreed on what? That it's not a finish. That is not a TKO as they've labeled it. Well, because you said he broke his leg. I'm going with what he said. Medical stoppage. Yeah, I would say that. They should have would M S. They should have put it, it MS would be a right no there. contest in that case. It would be a no contest, really. That was what they would have to call it. Via medical I stoppage think, or some bullshit. Man, some bullshit, bro. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> exactly. That's why that. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. But Jamal Hill got the finish. Yo. Oh, that was that was a crazy San, ass Santos, fight. he need to hang it up, bro. <laughs> He's another gatekeeper. Not hang it up. No, not hang it up. Like <laughs> he's he's not, not a gatekeeper. He has somewhat of a point there because this fool fought with two fucked up knees against John Jones, and like I don't, I don't know he how, hasn't how been he's the like same that ever since. After that, exactly. But at the same time, he was also yeah, one that gave John few... Jones a great fight. Fool, every a lot of people can say they gave John Jones a great fight. In the last three of his fights, yes, but prior, previous to that, nah. John Jones need a fight again, bro. I I was telling your brother that John Jones needs a tune-up fight, just so. to get the crowd riled I think up. He's either gonna fight Steve because a people have forgotten Francis. who he is because he, he hasn't fought in so long. And your brother's like, no, he's a he's a legend. Da, da, da. And I'm like, bro, okay, I a get that he's a legend. Le- he's tainted, a tainted legend, legend for sure. I, I was told like, him that too. I, I was like, I get that he's a legend, but it's like, bro, people haven't seen him fight in a long time. <laughs> there's new, fine. there's new, there's new people that are now watching the UFC. 2019 was his last fight against Reyes. There's a lot of new people watching the UFC. They haven't Against seen Reyes? him fight. He needs to fight Reyes fight. again. I don't know, but he's not in the same way. I'm like, a tune up fight wouldn't be bad. For him. I don't think he needs a tune up fight. See, he's like, nah, he got to go Francis, like, right Francis away. Francis or Stipe, one of those two, bro. You see, but no, bro. What do you mean? It's his first heavyweight fight. 
That's why I said a tune up fight would like give the would best people tune up fight that you give Derek anything. Lewis, in my opinion. Derek Stupid. Lewis. That's bullshit, bro. Derek That's <laughs> bullshit. Bro. Hey, Styles make fights. It's fucking bullshit. Styles bro. make fights. <laughs> 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 Come on, UFC athlete no, here. Bro. That's that's literally. Come on, Derek Lewis, bro. You know what Derek that is? You know what that, you know what that is? <laughs> what is that? You know what that is? You, you want to know an exact comparison? Of what that is? What is that? That's Conor McGregor versus Cerrone. That's exactly what that's gonna fucking be, bro. That's like, so like par for par what bro, that's gonna be, bro. I, I just imagine Derek Lewis fuck going that, out the same way he went out last week. All right, that was fucked up, bro. All right, that was fuck it. Up. Go get Brock Lesnar. <laughs> Go get Brock. <laughs> fuck it, bro. Nah, Brock gets his ass beat too. That's another Donald Cerrone. You talking about Donald Cerrone, bro? Oh bro, what God. the fuck happened in his last UFC fight? Rocked out of his socks by Cain Velasquez, bro. Who? Brock. No, his last fight, he fought on steroids versus Mark Hunt. Oh, that was that. Was, that was, <laughs> yeah. Hold up, but he lost against Who are we talking to, motherfucker? <laughs> all right, see you later. <laughs> First of all, remember who I'm talking to? My little brother. <laughs> no, but one up he did there, lose to Cain Velasquez, not, bro. Buddy. That was that was a good fight. <laughs> oh man! But yeah, uh, I think I don't think he's a tuna fight. Why, I think why don't you put Shuche. against Sudugan? Sudugan and John Jones, bro. He has a fight already. Bro. <laughs> he has a fight already. They're saying that John Jones is supposed to fight this year. Sudugan already has a fight. Sudugan's right. <laughs> gonna fight in, in France. Butt, yeah. It's gonna be the first uh, fight in France, by the way, guys. Mm. Uh, but I'm Jamal right. Hill, what do you guys think about Jamal Hill after this weekend? I'm play all. Who do you huh? think he should fight next, Jamal Hill? Whoever Rickets. they line him up with. That Who guy's not. That with? guy's not marketable to me. Hmm? He's not marketable to me. Not marketable. Yeah, he's not. Pro- he's not promotable. Um, for who do you think he should fight next? Is what I asked. I asked you. If he's and because he's not promotable, there's not a fight we can think of. Pretty much. That, that I, I'm. I'm just interpreting uh, Enzo's words. Damn. Um, I mean, I don't need the interpretation because it was clear, but he just broke it down so that... So that you could understand. Yo ass could understand because your ass looking at me like I'm clueless. Definitely. Definitely. I don't know. I think Jamal Hill... Let me be rhetorical. Who do you think? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think... You like I th- that, don't I think, you? first of all, I think I, I think I mentioned in the chat, I think Prohashka should fight Glover next. Hola, okay. Glover should fight Prohashka again. Who the hell is the rematch? Jari. Jari. The guy with the ponytail. Oh, and that good dude, that guy right there, yeah. man. Who is that? Hella. Yeah. <laughs> He's it. Oh my goodness. He's scary. He yeah, he cut his ponytail. Oh shit. He's right there to the right. Yeah, that guy. He should fight fucking He's light heavyweight. And then give Jamal Hill Yan, bro. Bro. Yan rocks the floor with him, bro. I have to see, bro. Thiago Santos is also... You know, Thiago Santos beat Jan Blakovic, bro, and now Jamal Hill just beat him, bro. So we we'll have to see what Jan is after getting tapped out by a 40-year-old man, too, so... Yeah, but I don't think he was. his mind was there that day. I think he gets back on that belt. I mean, but at the same time, we've seen Jan get knocked out, so I think it's possible. From a young, hungry cat like Jamal Hill that just went on that war, I think he could do it. I think Jamal's on a streak as well himself. He just Do you guys out. think it's real easy to keep it belt? Who? To Yuri? Keep, is it really easy to keep a belt? Really easy? Like defenses? Mm-hmm. I depend, it, it depends on how you go at it. If you're it's f- because, here's the thing, right? It's like the mountaintop idea, right? Getting to the mountaintop is temporary. You're not meant to stay up there forever. It's borrowed time. And, and the thing is that a lot of people, when they get to the mountaintop, they don't know, like, okay, how long can I stay up here? Or, like, sometimes their goal was to get to that belt, that when they get to that belt, they don't know what to do after that. So it's like there's a lot of mental things to that. Definitely. I also think it also depends on you evolving as a fighter. So, for example, Kamar Usman. Kamar Usman, we saw his striking get yeah. a lot better. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Izzy, for him, he's just been able to manage the pace of fights. And, and you know, that's that's been his key to, to, to being... The way, I think Mayweather the fact that Izzy, I think the fact that Izzy on Izzy's factor is that he was a kickboxer, and in kickboxing, you're the the way that you accumulate points to to win a fight through a decision is kind of how he's winning his fights now. He's like just tap tap. Not, tap yeah, tap, he's not doing tap. nothing like. As I said, it's the Mayweather of his division. I mean, yeah, that's what he's Sport. doing. They're wild, none of that. Even though, like. People are expecting that maybe this time because, oh, this guy knocked him out before. 
But then if you watch those fights fought before, Izzy was dominating those fights. He just got unlucky that he got knocked out. So is that we see that we see that in the UFC as well, and it's it's, yeah. it's possible, you know. That's why I feel like unless Izzy does something where he's like, he tries to take him down and he shows him what MMA really is, then I feel like I'm not saying the exact same thing can happen, but it's very possible. But you guys don't think that this guy is gonna has gotten experience? Like he's in, improved. Yeah, and like, and what if he tries to take Izzy down too? What if he tries to sh- because he's Brazilian. Uh, uh, he's yeah. Bra- so it's like who's to say he didn't know Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and all that? Out of nowhere, learn? he's a master. Well, not well, bro. The when was the last time they fought? When was they fought when he beat? Well, they, they fought, fought in kickboxing, kickboxing, so he can't That's, even use Jiu Jitsu. Exactly. So, yeah. yeah, we wouldn't even know. So it, it yeah. could totally be part Cause, of because he could because you repertoire. could, bro. Yeah, that could be in your arsenal. But you're a kickboxing by profession. Like for example, Sean Strickland. For example, I, my opinion, fought him in the stupidest way possible. He yeah, like a stand-up boxer. Like, no, he, yeah, he should have. He should have fucking light on your feet and um, shit. Made him, made him wrestle, made him feel his weight and shit, and see what. I would have been lighter, lighter on my feet. The fact that he was so planted is why I feel like he got rocked the way he did. Because if you think about it, the way that he got rocked was like a bo- like, oh shit, you want to box me? I right, bet. And then, like I said, kickboxing is kind of like boxing. So when you're going for that one-two combo, you can still box. You're pivoting. You're learning how to... It's almost similar, bro. All you're doing is kickboxing. Just, just kicking. Those fools know where to hit you and all that shit, that, It's because it's like boxing. It's, it's all not, placement. Not, not backyard brawling, so I feel you on that, man. Um, so what do you guys think about... Uh, what's this fool? Um, calling out Gilbert Burns. Who fought this weekend that called Gilbert Burns? Nah, bro. You was... caught him with a question that he did not have an answer to. That's oh. interesting. It was Jeff Neal. Wayne has this Yeah, Jeff Neal. There you go. Here Jeff Neal was the one that I called him out because Luke and him are training partners. Mm-hmm. So he was like, he let beat. me get him next. Yeah, Jeff Neal is, and I think that's I'm, a great I'm surprised you didn't put, yeah, I mean, that would be a dope ass. What happened? That would be a dope. I'm surprised you didn't put that part where Neal called out um, yeah, Burns. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't, I didn't remember that And then part. Gilbert Burns was like, nobody's called me out. I'm glad somebody. I'm waiting also for the Masvidal fight. He said, if that one comes through, if Masvidal doesn't fight me, then let's do it, he said, too. What do you mean? Because uh, Gilbert Burns is waiting to fight Masvidal. That's, that's the rumored fight for Masvidal and Gilbert next. And he said, if he did, if that is, he doesn't sign a contract, he doesn't do it. This is, this is it, so weird. Jeff Masvidal is literally walking his way out of the top five. Yeah. If he doesn't fight as well, yeah. Fuck yeah, bro. A lot of people are getting active in that division. So if you don't well, fight, no, but I'm not only too. that, but it's like everybody that he's fighting is he's going back down the line of the top five instead of it being like fighting like a fucking eight. Gilbert Burns, or I think a he's seven. ranked number three or two. He's number three. So I mean, he's still he's still in the top five for fighting Illumin- someone. Illuminati. I mean, he lost his position to Kamsa. Uh, but next weekend we have a good card that me and Manny will be attending. A uh, good uh, main event good as, main. Far as, so as get, far as we're seeing. So but, I don't know about a good card. So you guys think but you're better than me? We've had some good UFC fight you nights. You can come along. Sandy. Hey, bro, yeah, I told me? you. We've been saying. So uh, we invited you from the beginning. UFC don't, fight nights don't, don't have been surprising, man. This, bro. You, we've seen <laughs> some really good ones like UFC Austin, uh, London the, this past weekend. So, I mean, they haven't been in San Diego in a while, so they might just put on a good show for us, you know? Yeah, yeah, they never bring good fights to LA, man. They do actually, but they're very yeah, expensive. The last time Francis fought was uh, the government, one of the time Francis fought was here in LA. It's the government, bro. Yeah, I don't bring them, bro. Madison Square Garden, bro, got all the good fights, bro. Yeah, like I, I don't think they've had a fight in Staples in a while, though. They have usually been coming to like Anaheim. Um, but the next pay per view after that, we're gonna have two seventy eight, and that's Kamar Usman versus Leon Edwards, the second fight around. And uh, that fight was moved to Paulo Costa. Yeah, Paulo Costa versus Luke Rockhold. That's gonna be a good Jose one. Jose Aldo versus Marab. Yeah, we're gonna have some. It's gonna be a good, cool card in, out in Utah for this one. They haven't been in Utah in a while either. That's a random city, though. Dana White. Hey, bro. He's Tell me give about Dana White. Something to see, bro. bro. What happened with Dana White in WWE? Oh, bro. So Tuya Vasa versus Sirugan. So, bam, so Ronda, bam. Ronda Rousey was. Uh, in the in the was gonna be in the WWE one of these nights or something like that, and she was like, "I really want you to be there." So she was like, "All right." Uh, Dana White was like, "All right, I'm gonna come out." And he went, and uh, when he went, they gave him like rafter seats, I think like 300 section seats and whatnot. And um, he was like, "They really made me. They really showed me how they feel about me that night." And recently, they had a 
Nick, Vince McMahon, Triple H, Stephanie McMahon. Uh, at a uh, court in, side. At, I mean, at a UFC, yeah, and it was basically cage side, bro. Yeah, like so. It's like they he he basically gave them the best, and they gave him the shittiest, and um, it sucked. <laughs> Hmm. Pretty interesting though, but uh, the UFC is also gonna have their first uh, event in France ever because that and the UFC MMA in general had been outlawed in France for a long time. I think it just recently became legal in the last like year or so. Bellator went there first, but this is the first one for UFC, so they're gonna have their their French heavyweight fight up against two Tai Tuivasa, bam bam, and then Robert Whitaker versus Marvin Vittori. It's gonna be an interesting one. Uh, but man, the the Card after that, uh, really top heavy. It's going to be a non-title fight versus Kamsa and Diaz. We've talked about that one, but we've talked about this one too. But the next one that just got announced this weekend is Izzy and Pereira for sure at MSG. Did you guys know what the co-main is? Nope. Chandler versus, versus Poirier. Poirier. And they're saying it's going to be mm-hmm. five rounds. Mm-hmm. Sick. Yeah. What do you guys got? And that co-main. Poirier. Got Connor. Who? <laughs> huh? What? Wait, what? <laughs> huh? We. Oh shit, my bad. Um, I also got Poirier. Poirier, yeah. I also got Poirier on there. It is my Louisiana. <laughs> yep. And yeah. I think it's interesting because do you do you, you guys I I heard things that he was gonna go up to to welterweight and now he's staying back at one fifty five. Do you guys think it's because he thinks that the the title might change hands? And he might have another shot to go well, for it. It's a possibility right now. It's up in the air. We got to see who actually gets it. Yeah. Because if Charles gets it back, then it's different. But, I mean, we all believe Charles is going to get it back. We shall see. Yeah, so that's the MSG card. So they're going to have to stack it, I feel like, a little bit more. Um, but, yeah, just moving on to the NBA. We got uh, a very interesting video this week, guys. And I think it was it was a very dope video. It was what the future is going to be. What LeBron's dream is to play with his son. And the Lakers are facilitating that dream. They're like, here, in a few years, we'll have him playing with you. I mean, it's not that easy. You got to suck and then get draft to do I that. Ask Lakers you, don't have no draft rights to the 27. Ask you this though, Enzo. So that's not going to happen, bro. Right? Do you think Bryce mm. is going to be better than Bronny? He's already, yes, he's already taller than him. Six, oh. What, 6'6? Six, six, I think 6'8? Six, I don't know. He's already 15 years him. old, bro. But he's he's taller than Bronny for sure. Yeah, bro. Usually the younger kids get better than the older ones, bro. Oh, really? Yeah. You want to tell me more about that? Mm, I would <laughs> love to. Do you want a glizzy? <laughs> oh. That's a hot dog, bro. But hey, if Man, you... If you... Shit today, bro. I don't know. Yeah, bro. Throw him, the, throw him the glizzy to his face then, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking shit, that was funny. Uh, but speaking, we spoke about Jello earlier and his, his his um his attempted robbery or his robbery. I don't know what. what oh, it's not it. La Jello it's anymore. Death, it's man. Jello. Come on, man. But in this case, I was you never stole nothing. He uh, scored fifty two in the Drew League, and I saw the highlights, and they're basically all underneath the bucket. Underneath the bucket. All basically were like underneath the bucket. There was someone he was doing like, little pop ups. I say just like bam, bam. They bam. were feeding him right underneath the bucket. And it was bam right there. And then like whoever was defending him was just not. They were big trash, enough. bro. Oh, they gotcha, bro. To, I mean, it's a prime. All right, let's let's just let's just keep going. Then uh, there's no point in saying this. <laughs> I mean, I guess, man. Manny, take it away. I would rather hear about KD's uh, ultimatum. What's ultimatum, Enzo? What did he tell? Oh the shit! Team? There's an ultimatum. Yeah. I heard something about something, but I didn't hear what's going on. What happened? I think I, I saw something. I literally, I, I, heard, I saw something on my way here. I don't know what the fuck ultimatum was, though. What, 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 Damn, bro. What, what ultimatum he I gave I thought them. the basketball guru. Uh, no, nah, I saw something on my way here because that shit just happened. I thought Manny would know because he was so eager to move on from Jello scoring 52 points. Yes, like bro. Hmm. So, so what, what was ultimatum? I saw something. I just didn't read the article. All right, article. so KD basically came to the front office and, like, and he's like, all right. If you want me to stay here. Me vas a los huevos a mí. Yeah. O se lo vas a los huevos a Steve Nash. Exactly. ¿Quién se lo vas a But I saw two names. I didn't just see one. I saw, I think he named the GM as well. Oh, shit. But he said, ¿a quién lo vas a los huevos? Isn't the GM the Australian dude? I don't know, but they, I just know that it was. He's a guy that for was. For sure, like, Steve Nash was the one that was like, you got, it's either me or Steve Nash. That's usually what happens. This is after KD also. T- 
disrespect to someone this week. Did you guys see that too? The guy was like, "Oh, like my my car broke down, this, this, and that, but I'm still I'm still loyal to the to the place that I'm gonna work at or something like that." And then KD was like, "Oh, well, that sucks. You have a shitty car and a shitty job, this, this, and that. Like I got I got my checks. I'm like I gotta look it up exactly, but." Yeah, it was just another. Paraphrase. It was another one of those KDs. Him going back at, at someone on Twitter, and we know that he's just no for that. But so if you would have moved from they, jobs and not been loyal, you would have had a better cop. But they bring him up in the tweet frame to go back. Yeah, at them? yeah, yeah. No shit, then, bro. What the hell? You gonna let somebody shit on you, bro? That you don't even know you? I'm not gonna be going back at fucking like everybody on Twitter, bro. bro if I'm I got time, alone, if I got time today. I got time. Like, look, bro, we posted the real this, this yesterday. Bro, y'all act people, like y'all act like these fucking are we, are we basketball start, players like, are not human, bro. No, they're not. I mean, they are, but it's no, kind of. Not. Not. <laughs> <laughs> they got that. Dude. You're an asshole, brother. Yeah, bro. You're Clip an it. asshole, bro. Clip Clip it. It. <laughs> yes, I said it. Y'all not human. How can y'all do the shit you do? Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> but I mean, we talked about it last week, bro. Wow. Derek Jeter himself said I'll that he would not be able to sustain. I hope one day he becomes. Celebrity, bro. Hope so, bro. You are not human, motherfucker. Hope so, <laughs> Just to say that back to him. <laughs> you fucking. You know how many times these people said that in ESPN? This man is not human. He just scored sixty points, thirty rebounds. Like, bro, come on, bro. You taking out of context with the fuck I said? Fuck out of here, man. Just as bad as they are. Turn off his mic. Just as bad as they are. Turn off his mic. <laughs> <laughs> You're a hoe. Yeah, you're a hoe. But, uh, yeah, you think you're cute with that, huh? I'm the captain now. <laughs> um, what are we talking about? Again? I'll fucking, I'll fucking, <laughs> I'll fucking. Well, KD in the I'm tweet kidding. that he's, he's clap back to the guy. I'll hit car. you with the method man. I'll fucking, I'll fucking grab your ass. All right, there. <laughs> so the guy said, car wouldn't start this morning. Get to work later. Our internet is down. LOL. I love this shit. Unlike KD. I actually enjoy taking the hardest road. It's basically just like fam. What the solving. fuck, dog? You're telling me somebody just <laughs> might like telling you it's casual, <laughs> hey, dog. You just bro, throw me in there. Like fuck out of here. I'm gonna tweet you back. Like oh my, oh I enjoy having a shitty car and getting to work and not being able to connect to the internet. Like bro, yes, I'm gonna say some shit like that back, bro. I also, fuck yeah, without using my burner account, I'm gonna just straight up. Yes, it's KD Trade, motherfucker number five. I just wouldn't give people like that the time of my day, bro. Bro, you're f- you have the time of day. You're in the off season. I'm pretty you're sure you probably just got off fucking. You, you feel me? Like, come on, bro. These you're talking about people. Somebody that's not human. They Met- have the time of day, bro. <laughs> 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 hey, you set yourself up right there, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro, it's great. Um, great content. Man. But if you look, if you go look at this guy, Michael Patron's fucking <laughs> IG. Here we go. We got- like, KD tweeting me back. Oh my god. Yeah, bro. He's probably posting. I mean, that everywhere. just like the guy that. Drake's girl tweeted him back. I mean, Instagrammed him back. Ah, dude, I'm sure that girl became so famous after that. Really, bro? Yeah, like followers. So and stuff. famous? Yeah. Uh, she probably got like 10k that lost another 5k. Yeah, no fucking money, my guy. <laughs> right? Shit. He's like, oh shit, this is the most excitement you need to get in the next 10 years. <laughs> what do you guys think? Do you guys think that KD gets his wish? Nah, they're Steve gonna Nash trade gets him. the boot. Yeah, he gets, he gets traded. It's crazy, bro. This post, guy, if this, it was, if this was prior to the injury, KD, yeah, but post the injury, they're gonna trade him. I think this is crazy too. I this think guy, he won't get traded for nothing. Th- this guy also like basically built that team in the sense that he got James Harden to come, Kyrie, and then now it's like it's just getting blown up. Like it's, it's pretty wild. Well, they're already keeping Kyrie, and it's crazy how they say that LeBron destroys franchises. <laughs> funny ain't that funny I guess. I guess what do you mean he destroyed the franchise you never heard that where like every time LeBron needs a franchise he leaves it like messed up and like well yeah he's a big superstar guy. any superstar Whoa, that leaves a team not really the same time with what KD doing when it, okay so when he left Cleveland what did they get after he left nothing Kyrie what the fuck it wasn't right <laughs> after bro bro Kyrie the year didn't... after they got Kyrie bro Really was it the Yes, he was drafted right after. Cause he left in what, 2010? 11. But yeah, I mean it wasn't too I I thought it was like then after two then a few years after that they got another draft pick in Andrew Wiggins that they traded away. And that's when he's like, Oh, I'm gonna come back. Right. And then what was Miami like? Who they get, bro? They had Miami? Miami when he left they had 
Bro, they they still had some players. Chris Bosh's heart was fading. Dwayne Wade was not playing like to the stature if he was, and then he ended up leaving too for a couple years. He came back for his retirement. But the team has been fine though. Yeah, it hasn't it been hasn't like they went paid. to the finals in the last two it's years. It's not like they became the Kings, okay, bro. bro. When did, right, when did, the when Kings did, haven't been in the playoffs in eighteen leave, years. When did he bro. leave Miami? And when did they twenty go to the, years? When did bro. they go to the the finals? He left Miami in twenty thirteen. Like, exactly, and they went to the finals when twenty twenty. Seven, Seven years. years. So, I mean. I mean, I, I, this is people's opinion. I'm not agreeing with them. I'm just saying this I is mean, what people say. If you're, if you're not I'm agreeing saying, with their I'm, opinion, I'm, but you're bringing it up, what does that say I'm about you? I'm comparing it to KD <gasps> what does that and say what about KD's you, doing to, to this exact team. I mean, I mean that, we're, we're, that's what I'm saying. Like, that KD comparison does. is stupid because he's not leaving these teams in the same way. Like, when, I'm when, saying when KD left, say that, when KD left OKC, the, where's your OKC at? They went down the drain. They got All they did is rack up draft picks, bro. And haven't done nothing with it. When uh, I think when well, when, when KD left for Warriors, what the Warriors do? They had a couple down years too, but that was also because their injuries. They all got injured. Clay Thompson got injured, and Steph Curry got injured the year after. Even he got injured that year. But I think also if they would have had their depth rather than than that they had before KD, I think they also would have been a little better than what they had. But no, I mean bro, even that that down team year, shows that they were good regardless of of the players because of the system, bro. After Steph Curry went down? After Steph Curry went down, bro, they were a top top. When did Steph man. Curry go down? He broke his hand, bro. And like was out for like three A year. A year, bro. Steph Curry. That's when that's when they got the top this? one of the top draft picks, bro. Like literally the season after KD left, bro. He he, he, he fell wasn't and he, he wasn't out for the whole he was out for like half the season, bro. Not the whole year. He ended up playing out. Like that's when he he but he, that's the season they, where they, they played got a, they he got played like a, in the play in I want to say for the fucking like a top Lakers five draft pick bro right and they got Wiseman but he still ended up playing thirty games in that season bro uh, and it wasn't that was just, that was and that, that was the game the season that he they played the Lakers in the, that LeBron had that game winner on also Curry to the Grizzlies too right that's what I'm saying but he still played thirty games and and went off in those thirty games breaking your hand you're only out for six weeks. No, I know, but I'm just saying. So it's not like, like your that whole season. Season is... was when they were able. They still got that top draft pick. Like they didn't make the playoffs, so that's what. Garbage but it wasn't because that. of KD. It wasn't because you lose K- KD. Was hurt, so it's yeah. like it's not the same as like oh shit he leaves and he's not hurt and he goes to go ball in another team. You know what I'm saying? But it's not the same. What, what I'm talking about, what he's doing right now with this specific team, right? He had constructed it, bringing all this super stardom to it. And now it's not working out, so it's like. It's it's he's doing he's using his stardom again to be able again, to again going back to what I'm about. saying, bro. So why who is he trying to remove? The GM and the, and what do they create, bro? They gave him everything he asked for, did not, bro? Do, does the GM and the coach not create a system for the team? Mm-hmm. So you and catching where I'm coming? Where I'm the going. environment, right? Yeah. So what, what is he? What, what am I saying about the Warriors? I mean, bro, he also was the one that wanted to bring James Harden. Why did he want to go to the Warriors in the first place? Win an environment system X, Y, and Z, right? And Why does what does he want to get removed you know over funny? there? Who did the, they, the who head did, of the system? Did, yeah, who did the they guys bring, that create the environment, the guys that create the system. Who did they also bring in to appease that that environment too? Someone that was from that organization in Steve Nash. Steve Nash was part of the Warriors throughout those championships, part of the coaching staff, and all that too. Yeah, but he wasn't in a like role of a coach what he is now it's not the same at all bro he was but if we he was back, in an advisor role yeah, but bro if we also go look back at when this team was he wasn't even on the KD, bench bro KD essentially wanted all these guys he, he was want, not part of his coaching he, staff he bro want, but he wanted he wanted K, he wanted Steve Nash to be part to be the coach in Brooklyn he wanted to bring to bring he wanted to bring Blake Griffin he got basically like all the players he needed bro and injury helped her also hurt them everything he's asked for huh Everything's he's asked for. Yeah, you know what I mean? And it's like, and now it's like either him or them. And it's like, I just feel like he just wants to get out, go on to the next thing because they didn't work out with the three stars that he that he brought. And it's like, who else are they going to bring in now? You know, I think it's his, to his benefit for him to be like, all right, let me just trade me to the Celtics. Just trade me to these other teams that are like. But they don't want to trade him there because that's no. their competitors. Yeah, because I mean. Who they don't want to trade. If they wanted to trade, they would have traded him already, bro. Yeah, because I mean, it's gonna be like when the with the Warriors guy, they have to lose their depth to get someone like KD. But um, yeah, tell me about the Premier League starting this week, man. I hope you have the camera on this guy right now. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's what I was like, bro. He literally passes the bottle me while I'm drinking water. 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, ah. Uh, uh, so what the hell? No, for <laughs> yeah, uh, Premier League, uh, Arsenal won, uh, Tottenham won, uh, Liverpool tied, mm-hmm. Man City won, um, and then you had Man U losing to Brighton. Uh, very interesting starting week. Uh, we're going to see what ends up happening. Uh, and then we have La Liga starting this week, this weekend. Interesting thing on that is the fact that... Uh, Barcelona still needs to register the players that they've already bought. Uh, but in order to do that, they need to get their teams to reduce their wages. There are players to reduce their wages in order to fulfill the financial gap that they need to do. Uh, so we're going to see what they do this week, how they change it up, uh, or if they get rid of anybody uh, and, you know, in order for those players to be able to play in the upcoming match. Yeah. So it's fun. Look forward to it. That's crazy because what you're mentioning about Barcelona right now, um, La Liga rejected the attempt to use the club's own fund to inflate the value of the two asset sale that has restored uh, in order to balance the books and strengthen their team. So they're basically trying to pay, like use some other, mo- like in a sense, in terms of the NBA, go over their salary cap Yeah. to to get this uh, issue resolved. Yeah. And La Liga blocked it. That's yeah. crazy. Because uh, they're because the thing is that it would make them a, uh, it would it would undermine the other smaller teams because so, that's the whole point of having a financial cap is so that it makes the league fair for all teams. And now what they'll have to do is sell another twenty five percent of their content production company, Barca Studios, for an estimated hundred million, and hope to allow them to include the arrivals of uh, Robert Lewandowski, Andres. Uh, Christensen, Christensen, yeah. Jules Conde. Yeah. And um, and right now they're working on another player that they're getting. Yeah, and their game would be against Rayo Velanco, right? Yep. So that's interesting, bro. Yeah, no, I mean, it, they've gotten all these good players, but, I mean, what sucks is they can't register them, you know? So, like, technically they can't play La Liga matches until this is resolved. Man, that's tough. And I know that... The, That's so, why they've been able to play preseason because a lot of people are questioning, like, okay, if they can't play, why is it they play preseason and not, you know, like, yeah, preseason is different, but in the league games, they can't play yeah, league yeah, games because that's within the league and stuff. Yeah. Like these other things have nothing to do with La Liga no. and whatnot. So it's like it's almost like you get hired to come out and just perform. Mm-hmm. That's basically what happened. They get yeah. hired by I don't know who mm-hmm. to come out to LA and play yeah. against, you know, Real Madrid and, and mm-hmm. I don't know if they played Juventus too or else. No, they played Man City, right? Uh, I think I, so. I forget right now. I don't want to honestly. say it was against Man City. Um, but the, some other teams that came over and had a, just like a friendly here and took over SoFi Stadium were... Damn, bro. He doesn't know what to say, bro. Damn, bro. La puta chiva. No, I thought you were going to go with um, Amer- America first. No, no, no. Nah. I looked at you because... Because you always say that. So it was Las... Botas Chivas versus Nah. They played Galaxy. 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 Yeah. yeah. L- uh, LAFC played America. And um What was the first game? LAFC versus America. Do you so? And dude, I mean I know it's a cheaper game and all that stuff, but it just goes to show that like these people are more diehard fans. Yeah. To go Soccer watch fans stuff. are diehard. Yeah. Uh, and it just it's like, dude, when the World Cups and stuff come like or come oh. here and do all that stuff, bro, it's gonna be crazy. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. Especially depending what teams play here. Yeah. It's gonna be wild. Bro. 2026. I, that's, facts. that's what I want. I, I want to go to a World Cup game when it comes here. Start saving up, bro. Yeah, bro. I know Seriously, it's gonna be a wild ticket. Seriously, I, that's like at least 500 bucks that we're spending, bro. At least. And that's gonna be the nose bleeds. And I think. I like right, right at the very edge, bro. 400. <laughs> that's the 400s up there. Right. So far, like, right? no, but like all the way, all the way, like oh. the oh, the last seat, bro, all the way on top. And that's crazy because that stadium, I think it got packed right now with 71,000 yeah. fans. I think the max is like 90,000. Mm-hmm. Bro, that's gonna be crazy. Yeah. It's gonna be crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, but thank you so much for joining us today, guys. If you like this video, subscribe, you know, do your thing. Follow us on IG. 
Thank you for listening to our episode. We appreciate your support. Remember to follow us on Instagram at The Current Pod, where you can share our episodes, review, interact with us, talk to us about what's going on. We appreciate your feedback and everything that you guys do for us and supporting us. Have a wonderful day.